By the way, the questioner before this last one asked, what is the market value under the hammer of all Berkshire's operating subsidiaries? And the answer is, you have to figure that out yourself. <laughs> Mr. Nice Guy. Uh, <laughs> the uh, zone. So, well, but we give you the information, incidentally, where your judgment on that should be about as good as ours. Uh, uh, there's nothing mysterious about valuing the Buffalo News or Seize Candy or. Uh, or Flight Safety or Dairy Queen. Uh, so you really have the same information we have in that. I mean, if there's, if there's material information that we aren't giving you about any important but Berkshire subsidiary, we'd like to give it to you because it, it, uh, we think you are entitled to have the information that enables you to value the various pieces. Because of the aggregate size of Berkshire now in terms of market capitalization and some of the positions we own, uh, the smaller subsidiaries really cannot have that much effect. We love them just as much. I, I, I enjoy all of the businesses we're in, and I enjoy the people that, that, that run them. So we don't make a, there's not, we don't differentiate uh, in our attitude within the company, but in terms of the actual impact on the valuation of Berkshire, uh, there are a number that really just, they, they just don't make that much difference in terms of figuring out whether Berkshire's worth X or X minus a thousand or plus a thousand because a thousand now is over a billion dollars in, in terms of valuation. A billion is still a lot of money.